Mikey Todorovic is sitting on his leather chair. When you have a vision impairment, you're frustrated a lot in your life without even realizing that you're frustrated because you've got to focus on things extra. But when you have something to help it, that's when you feel the frustration go down and, and you're like, oh, well, I was actually frustrated watching TV. Today, almost 600,000 Australians are living with blindness or low vision. They face challenges participating in many of the things we take for granted, like watching live sport. Morris Gleason is sitting in front of a large window of greenery. Tangers, sadly, uh, hasn't been anywhere near as accessible as I would like. Sandra Knight is sitting on a yellow couch. I'm not a great watcher of sport because I can't see where the balls are. Carla Petronajevic is wearing her junior tennis shirt and plays with a tennis ball. She is sitting with her mother, Yelena. So my dad has to commentate for me and he finds it tiring sometimes because I can't see who's serving or the ball or the points. Adam Fayad is sitting at home on his grey couch. It's, it's, it's a struggle, I must say. Um, but, you know, I've got to tolerate it and, and live with it at the moment until something else comes out. In 2021, Tennis Australia, Monash University and AKQA came together to develop a new way to improve access to the Australian Open for people with visual impairments. Melanie Huang, lead designer, AKQA is sitting outside. We found a way using ball tracking technology to create a new experience of sport that's accessible for everyone. Chatai Gonkyu, research fellow, Monash University is standing outside. We use Hawkeye data for our system and uh, what we get from Hawkeye is the 3D position of the ball and the players during the gameplay. Examples of Hawkeye technology determining the ball being in. Tim Devine, executive creative director AKQA stands in front of a maroon wall. And we take that data and we turn it into 3D audio, what we call action audio. Action audio logo animates in. Action audio contains a wealth of information for blind and low vision sport fans to understand what's going on on the court. From ball position, how close it is to the line, the type of shot Forehand. they're playing. Backhand. We're using sound Forehand. in a way that could impact the experience of live broadcast sport for millions of sports fans around the world. Sandra, Morris, Adam and Carla all put on their headphones to listen to action audio for the first time. What? Fantastic. Forehand. Backhand. 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 Forehand. What a rally. <laughs> Adam is smiling upwards. I don't know why, but I can suddenly see the ball. I can actually hear everything and I can actually see the ball. For some reason, I can see the ball now better than I could see the ball before. Mikey stops to look to the camera. I wouldn't watch it any other way. You can just, en you can just enjoy the game so much better. I don't have to ask my dad, like, can you commentate? I can't see where the ball's going. <laughs> I like the sooner we can get this, the better. Do you want to get it for this Australian Open? Would I would? For the one for this year. Craig Tiley, CEO of Tennis Australia, is in the stands at Rod Laver. At Tennis Australia, we're very proud to be launching an opportunity for everyone to enjoy the game. We are launching Action Audio at the Australian Open Finals. Experience it at action-audio.com.